Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you watched my video that I uploaded last Monday, then you are aware that me and my family completed the Tough Mudder in Virginia. This is my Tough Mudder finisher shirt that I'm wearing just for the video. Um, but yeah, I uploaded that video, that's footage from our GoPro. I thought that could be fun kind of to share with you guys through the lens, like through our eyes, what we saw. But I also wanted to sit down and do like a talk through video, tell you about my experience, tell me about, tell me, tell you about my future plans with Tough Mudders because I like to kind of break stuff down with you, share what we experience and if I would recommend it for others, that kind of thing, you know. Um, but if you have been following me for a while, then you know these like these races are nothing new. We try to do things like this fairly consistently. Um, we, you know, we do 5Ks all the time around our community. And last year we did our first triathlon, which they actually just did again this past weekend. I couldn't compete in it, but I'll tell you more about that in this video. Um, and so next up was the Tough Mudder. We wanted to do a mud run as a family, so we took me, my husband, two of my sister-in-laws, and my father-in-law, and some swimmers, and we drove two days there and two days back from Virginia, and we did the Tough Mudder. So basically, going into it, I did not have any expectations, and I'm sorry, you're always going to hear dogs in the background because I have dogs and they're inside dogs. So um, going into it, I really didn't have any expectations. I don't like, I'm not the person that likes to sit down and research and watch a ton of videos about these kind of things because I don't want to freak myself out or, I don't know, I just, I'm more of that person that the way I... I accept it in my mind is that it's doable. Everything is doable. Or if I know somebody else has done it, like for this mud run, um, I actually watched a video of a woman that completed it and she is very open and honest about the fact that she doesn't like to work out. She doesn't go to the gym. She picks fun at herself for being out of shape. So I kind of thought, well, if she can do it, I can definitely do it. And I went in with that mindset, and that's what I do with most of these kind of runs. Um, just like with the triathlon, I told myself, well, I can bike. I can um, swim. I can work on the swimming and running. We do it every day. So it's totally doable. So yeah, going into the mud run. Uh, we got there. We started. I don't really need to get into all that, but we did it. And here is my experience with the Tough Mudder. I'm just gonna go ahead and say right off the bat that I loved it. I had a heck of a time. I really enjoyed myself. Will I do it again? Yes, I hope so. I would love to do it again. That being said, um, it was kind of like a two-sided experience. I found myself thinking, man, I really don't want this to be over. I'm having so much fun. These obstacles are so much fun. But around mile, Three, my knees started to hurt, which I spoke about the difficulties with my knees in the past. The triathlon is kind of the first experience that I realized it's worse than I thought. Um, and the most I had ever run in my life was three miles max. Like that is the most I have ever run. This Tough Mudder was 10, 10 and a half miles. So by mile eight, I was so done. I've never been to the point where I felt like I don't want to run anymore. I told my husband, I don't want to run anymore. I don't want to be in pain. And I'm not sure if my family realized just how much pain I was in because I'm not going to lie. I spent the whole run feeling like the weakest link. I felt basically like crap about myself because it was so difficult for me to run and I was holding the rest of my family back. They were trying to make up for my weaknesses and you know they were going at a slower pace so that I could catch up and that really sucked. So mentally it was very, very, very tough on me. My knees were in so much pain that like I said, I've never been to that point where I'm just like, I don't wanna do it anymore. I don't want to. I've always been the person that yes, I'm in pain. I might complain about it, but I'll push through it. I will finish. I will tell you it is okay. I can do it. But I felt like I don't wanna do this anymore. I don't wanna run anymore. I'm in so much pain. I'm hurting so bad. Um, but I guess, you know, the bright light in all of that is that 
this was the thing that convinced me that regardless of the money that it takes, the time it takes, whatever, I need to go in and get an MRI done on my knees. So I did go to the doctor within two days of returning from the trip and I set up to have an MRI done on both knees so I can finally figure out what is going on and get through that. So what I will say, because you really don't need to, it, that's not really about the mud run, um, the tough mudder, but what I will say is that if you experience pain in your knees doing a 5k or just some kind of race, I would be very, very, very weary about going into the tough mudder. I kind of underestimated the running that it would take to get through the obstacles, to get through the course, just because I figured it would be broken up so much by the obstacles that it wouldn't even be an issue. But it definitely was an issue. It definitely affected my teammates. It definitely affected me and the amount of fun I had into it, or the amount of fun I had with it. So just be, you know, be mindful of that and maybe, you know, see what you can do to be the most comfortable on a run like this. But just as for the tough mutter itself, if you have no problems with your knees or you have no injuries, I would say you can definitely do it no matter your athletic abilities. <laughs> you know, there are people out there that don't run a day in their life and people that run every day of their life. And it really just comes down to do you want to go out there, push yourself, see how fast you can get it done, or do you want to go out there and just have fun with your team or your family and really just have fun with it. The obstacles were totally doable. I felt like the obstacles were definitely easier than the run itself. I mean, again, I wasn't a lot of pain, but um, the obstacles were definitely easier than the run, but it is for sure a teammate type of thing. There were walls that there's no way I could have jumped up and reached them. I'm not tall enough. Um, there are walls that I would not have been able to climb over had somebody not grabbed my hand and pulled me up. My poor husband was doing a lot of the heavy lifting for my team and for the people around us. He, you know, he spent a lot of time pulling us over walls. So, but the walls were definitely the most difficult part of the race, the most tiring. Um, the one of the most painful and you can see it in that video that I did last week uh, obstacles was the ice what is it arctic enema the water was 16 degrees think about that 16 degrees water I grew up going to springs my whole life that's cold water no 16 degrees your body goes into like a shock and it's not so bad until I had to put my head under the water and the moment that happened, I just, my body, it was the craziest feeling. I, like, I can't even explain it. It is what it is. It's freezing water. It's ice water. It is definitely, definitely a moment. It is, it's crazy. I mean, I don't really know what else to say besides that. I could kind of talk you through each thing, but it's such a long course. I, basically, I'm just coming here to share with you that I had the absolute time of my life. I had so much fun despite being in pain and feeling like a failure for the rest of my team. And I would definitely say find the nearest, toughest mutter and you do it yourself. It, you know, it opened up a door for my husband. He realized that he loves competition. He loves all the different races we do. But I think the tough mutter is his race. He found something that he enjoyed so much despite the length of time it took, the amount of distance you ran. He had so much fun and it, he was like on this high. Afterwards, he was so hyper and he didn't even want to leave. He was so hyper. He just had the time of his life. So he's actually planning to compete in the 24-hour Tough Mudder in Vegas in November, I think it is, which is just crazy and I would love to do it with him, but again the knees um, but we also want to try the Spartan race and the mud run and all these different kind of races so if you guys have done any of those races we would love to hear about it so that we can experience them ourselves and tell us your favorite parts or your favorite ones or your least favorite ones I'd love to hear it all um, if you have any questions about the Tough Mudder I'd also be happy to answer those for you so leave a comment down below but that's basically it. I had the time in my life I had so much fun. The obstacles were totally doable for anyone. Um, the running totally doable for anyone that hasn't you know, sustained any kind of injury or chronic injury. And yeah, that was kind of my experience. I know there's not a whole lot I can say about it, but 
that's it. I am officially a Tough Mudder alumni. I cannot wait until my knees are better and I can figure out what's wrong with those so I can go and do the next one. If you guys enjoy these videos explaining or showing you guys these different races we're doing, please give it a thumbs up and share in the comment section below like what you would like to see. That helps me make content geared to you guys. Also, be sure to check out last week's video, which I will also link in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.